Hey guys, Chris here, and I want to take you through some stuff I've been doing on my goals today. Um, and I've been helping a lot of other people as well in like mastermind groups and how to, how to get your goals, how to stay on top of your goals, how to keep yourself accountable. And I'm going to share this spreadsheet with you as well to, to best help you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to take you through it. So I'm just going to share my screen right now. So as you can see here, um, I have my goals for Q1. So Q1 is basically January to end of March. Uh, for the next three months and you know goals can take a while like to, to come up with sometimes it's not a case of you get to the first of January you know exactly what you want and the year goals can grow as well so if you look at year goals as being more medium term goals so this will say short term medium long term long term is like three to five years plus generally speaking but for now right here just to get more of an idea and to be honest I'm still growing sort of my vision and, and what I want with my goals so you know, this gives you what to focus on for the year. But I think it's good to have two, to have short and at least short term and medium term, just so you know where you're going this year, what you want to achieve. And to have a goal down is what allows you to, you know, to have the destination where you're going your focus to. So I've written them here. And um, let's just say, for example, I've got one here, you know, to, about exercise. And exercise doesn't necessarily need to be, need to be a certain weight. It could just be something like, look, I want to feel good. I want to, you know, feel the passion i want to wake up driven i've lived without exercise and with exercise i always find exercise a lot better so you know it can be quite debatable some people just don't do it in the winter and, and things like that but i i want to stay fit so 30 minutes of exercise a week and then to, to track that i've normally put on my weekly tracker and here um or sorry i think i would use daily tracker for that so you've got daily tracker. you just put exercise five out of seven times a week so i want to give myself the weekend off and then it's just a case of saying yes, yes, yes. And then I did that this morning, that exercise. So you can you can track that. And then if you miss one, say on Thursday, you know, you've done four out of seven, and then you can review that at the end of your week. You know, you haven't achieved that goal. But you want to look to to set how you're going to measure that. Because because a lot of goals can be like, look, people say I want to work on my fitness, but they don't actually track it. They don't know if they've achieved that goal or not. So so the goal with this, um, and then you can put on your weekly tracker, did you, did you achieve that goal? And you can put yes or no. And as it gets to the end of, of the quarter, you can see where you're at. So the year goals um, are you know, pretty much what you're doing. So at the moment, for example, I want to run a certain amount of retreats, certain amount, um, I've got a certain target in terms of mastermind members, um, financial goals, I've said, you know, want to be in a relationship, um, want to have my own place in, a, in a, an amazing community. So to be specific about where you're going, what you want this year, because a lot of people might just end up a bit flat. They don't know where they're going. Wheel of Life is here. So guys, I'll share this template with you as a chance to, to go through it. And you've got the different areas of your life here. So you've got your family, your friends, love lives. So these are sort of the relationship goals. So relationships do allow time for relationships. And the other goal I have, uh, sorry, the other spreadsheet here is a way of tracking things in. So, you know, if you want to work on your social um, social life, it might be to, to have two socials a week or something like that. You can schedule it in your diary um, in advance. So with this, you want to be putting things in. You want to be planning the day in advance, the week in advance. So you get everything in. You know, you get a slot like for the exercise that always fits in. I've not um, updated this uh, currently. Um, I've got quite a few different spreadsheets. So um, this one isn't as up to date, but you get the idea career and the money and then your health and fitness self-improvement passions and it's just a 10 is like where you ideally want to be and zero is you know it's just completely empty at the moment it's not you're a long way from home so ideally you want to always be striving to 10 so it's good to not ever give yourself really over a nine um unless you're really struggling for ideas and things feel perfect um but i'll leave that up to you um so one of my goals as well is to run a weekly meetup events at the moment um, and it's good to have a good why and a good vision and, and sort of why why do you really want to do that and for me just having a, a community having a purpose having you know being able to help people people in these current times to go to be have an event to go to each week and the goal with the weekly meetups as well is to bring in other experts people that i really learn from and i'm inspired by as well and to have a lot more uh responsibility things like these spreadsheets where people can fill them in so 
you know, I get a lot of benefits out of it as well. Um, and what I've done here is I've just got a little tracker here where I've literally put in all of the meetups and I've scheduled ahead. You know, I've scheduled, if I say weekly meetups, it's good to plan to February, and March. You know, I know other people, other speakers. So if I'm getting them on the phone, planning them in, planning in advance, it relieves a lot more stress. So here you have the weekly tracker um, where I've got the meetup here. You know, for example, we're in the week of the 11th for the first, but I've scheduled in a few others ahead of time. So it kind of relieves a bit of stress. Uh, and this comes down normally with the weekly tracker is something you want to keep up consistently. If you've got yeses all the way here, that's going to be great. You're on target of your goal. And look at it as like a cumulative graph, which is going up exponentially. It's sort of quite flat, but eventually it goes like this. So if you're doing exercise every day, if you're doing a podcast every week, consistently eventually your your the returns on that the the value whatever the goal is that you want will, will gradually come over time one thing i've got at the bottom there as well is is investing so generally speaking in terms of compounding your investments if you're investing a certain amount each month eventually you know the, the returns will, will will come back um you know massively in the short term you can't really see but over time um the compounding will generally come in so like with yoga, like with exercise, like with doing a podcast, your results become better over time. Maybe you get more followers, more people spreading the word. You learn more from your mistakes, right? You know, the audio is not great. You don't really promote yourself very well. You don't have the right branding. You start to get this feedback from people. And this is what leads to the great results over time. So look at it as like a cumulative um, return. Um, so yeah, that's it. And it's about, yeah, just consistency, like a blog post every week, every week, just, just do it. And, and, and it's going to be something you enjoy doing. So for example, doing a blog post, doing an interview, I, I really love doing it. I really love just sharing what I've learned in a particular week. I love doing an interview. I, I learned a lot from the people I interview. So a recent one I did was on, um, investing and I learned a lot from the person that I was interviewing. I was guiding the questions. So there's a lot in it for me rather than just like i'm trying to get more followers or, or become famous you know these kind of goals it's good that you enjoy every minute of it doing this video i enjoy doing it i enjoy sharing this this is something that i really enjoy doing so you're only going to do it if it's something you really enjoy um you know the fitness you know it's really allowing me to to live a lot healthier and happier life so these things are good it's good to have targets good to have number targets and the final thing I guess to share as well is on challenges. So set yourself challenges. A lot of people might go to bed late or they struggle to sleep. So, so for example, something like that, you could say no screens after 10 o'clock, right? Normally you say you go to bed at 11, like myself. Now, now sort of the goal for this week is to just literally make sure 10 o'clock is a definite cutoff point. Then I can read, then I can write, then I can maybe do some light exercise, meditation. But it's to get to the point where you're just not too addicted to, to a screen. You know, you could have a day off from, from screens, for example. But in this particular example, say I do seven days and I just put completed there, no, um, because that was something I did fail at. I didn't do that many days. So what I then said is a challenge of doing four days. And keep a log of these because remember, there's nothing wrong with failure. And you want to keep yourself accountable. It's, it's because a lot of people will just write loads of goals down. And you have to get quite ruthless um, in terms of making yourself accountable. So at the end of the three months, I will review each of these and say, did I achieve them? Yes or no. And don't be scared to put a no next to them. So you can know what, you're, what you can learn from it because you might be too ambitious and or you might have maybe set the target too low. So you need to, you need to review your goals so you and then eventually you can just become very passionate about goals and you know when you write a goal down you're going to go ahead for it and you're going to enjoy it so these times are difficult um, with things like maybe you're in the house a lot and you're you're not really going out too much but you can get on top of a lot of things like all the different areas in your life like your finances your um, your health and fitness you know, all these things and now we'll have a lot of time to focus on. Um, so, so use this time productively. Um, so I've left you the spreadsheet guys. You can fill that in with the wheel of life. You just put the scores in and it will draw it out for you and then look to, to start use taking advantage of these trackers. If you do have any other questions, let me know. And as I mentioned on this one as well, you can have a quick look at where you're just literally scheduling in your day. 
Um, and it doesn't always have to go according to plan. You could come down here and then all of a sudden, you know, you don't feel like working here. You go on the walk instead or you do other things. But then at the end of the day, you can review the day and you can see it. So ultimately, this helps you track in, put in your, your time to do things. So, for example, I've got my, um, say I'm doing an interview, is to go, okay, have I scheduled in the interview for next week? Okay, when am I going to do it? Thursday at two o'clock. So you're literally finding a way and, and use this to, to tackle it. I think I'm developing this even more that you you look to see, okay, have I scheduled that in for next week? So it's not like you miss it for two or three weeks. You're literally going through your goals and thinking, am I, am I achieving them? Am I making time for them? Do I have the time? You might not have the time. You might need to drop one or two of them. Uh, so I've got a lot of goals here, but I have done it a lot before. So I would focus mainly on at least three goals, you know, try and if you can just get it simply to three goals to focus on. Um, and then as you get better at this, you can add more and more in because things like exercise for me, it doesn't really feel too much like a goal now. It's just something I do every day. So um, you can either then improve that, increase that goal, or you can look to just add another goal and kind of slowly take it away because it's integrated into your life, right? Goals are normally stuff we want to, to achieve, to bring into our lives, stuff that we're not currently doing. But if it's something you're already doing, like you're already doing a certain routine and things like that, it's not necessarily a goal if it's something you're already doing on autopilot. So we want to create new good habits um, and we can do that by setting goals. We can also do that by setting challenges and just set yourself a challenge. You know, just when I did a five day called shower challenge and things like that, life just became more interesting. You know, you do learn something from that. Um, if you can get other people to do the challenge with you to keep you accountable. So yeah, guys, lots in that, but I thought I'd just give you a snapshot. It'd be good to know what you think about that. I'm happy to do more videos, more on specific things, um, but do, do let me know. So I'll leave this with you guys. Um, you can download the spreadsheet, make a copy of it rather on the Google Sheets attachment below. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.